Linda and I have come out this week uh, to Battle Normanhurst Court Caravan and uh, Motorhome Club site. And what a lovely site it is. We are really pleased with it. Have a look at this pitch where we're on now. It's in, this site is uh, all in different levels. That one is slightly higher. And this is called Lower Pines. And going around the site, uh, there's no end of uh, little cul-de-sacs. This is the reception area and arrival times 1pm, I arrived at 12.59 and I still couldn't get in, a little bit annoying. As I've said this is a, a terraced site, uh, this is the lawns, this is the highest part of the site. And at the top of uh, this little road, it's a toilet block. I can't really stress how nice it is. Mind you, it's a beautiful day. Uh, this is our third day here and uh, every day has been really, really good. Just round the corner here is the uh, toilet block. There's two toilet blocks on site, one at the top level and one at the bottom. So we're midweek now and there's uh, lots of empty spaces. It does go further up, up to the top, which is near the road. So you will get a lot of uh, road noise. I don't know whether you can hear it now. This is right at the top now, and uh, these are all blue pegs, non-awning pitches right next to the road. This is right at the top of the terrace and it's got steps all the way down. Because this site is built on a, an old walled garden of Normanhurst Court. Just to be 
cutting the lawns. Sorry about the noise. These steps, these must be the original steps of the old house that used to be on this site. Apparently it's pulled down in 1951. This is right on the lower level. You can't get out this bottom end, it is a dead end, but you can walk to Catsfield, which is down this track, down there. This is what they call the Pixie Hollow and it's an activity centre or activity area I should say down here for the kids to uh, kick a ball about. It's better than the outside your caravan. And uh, through those gates there's a, a dog walk on the right hand side and straight on it leads you to um, Catsfield, a little village. But at the end of that road, which is uh, a mile and a quarter down, uh, there's a pub on the left hand side. And I'll be doing that this afternoon with Linda and the dogs. I went there yesterday for a meal because it was Linda's birthday. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to go again. And so the kids' uh, play area here. And uh, all up these. Um, dead end roads are pitches. Uh, here it's going to be a bit um, in the shade a bit but they're all individual little places that you can pull into. I'll just walk up this one to show you what it's like. As you can see it's all empty. But they are in the shade, or well, most of them are anyway. This one's not too bad. But yeah, it's a, it is a wonderful sight. My brother, my brother Robert, he lives an hour away at Maidstone, and he's never been here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> unbelievable, really. Something that's right on your doorstep, yet you don't visit. Just have to talk them into uh, coming down to it again. So let's have a look up in this one. Just one caravan in this section. Talk about getting away from it all. Non awning pitch. Most of these will be non awning, I'd imagine. Yeah, lovely. Right. Uh, it's one o'clock. I think what I'll do, I'll find fetch Linda and the dogs and we'll have a walk down to Catsfield to the pub. 
That sounds like a good idea. Right, we're now on the walk down to Catsfield. Down there is a doggy walk. We're not going down there, we'll keep. On this path for one and a quarter miles. And as I say, there's a pub at the end, which is always a welcome sight. Just keep following the signs. It's a perfect place to be on a hot day. It's in woods because it's nice and cool. This is the sign that shows you all the walks from this uh, caravan site. You can pause this and read all about this. All right, we'll carry on. And it opens out a bit. And you've got sheep in the field. There was geese in here yesterday, wasn't there, in this one? Somewhere, Linda? What? Some geese. Could have been further on. Come on, dogs. Come on. Hello, mate. So does this disturb you? Yeah. <laughs> disturb him. Come on, let's go. Oh, little lambs. Oh yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, and sweet. I think we're about halfway there now. This is the final hurdle. I'm going to get through this gate and up this little lane, past this pond, and we'll be there. Come on, Chloe. Come on, giddy up. Come right, finally, we got to the road. So you've got a shop on the right, on the left, you've got the pub, the White Hart Inn. All right, let's get the beers in. See, finally got to the pub, and there we are, rewarded with a couple of pints. What else could he do on a lovely sunny day? <laughs> <laughs> 